Mount Whitney. We'll see you in a few days. We're just getting to Lone Pine right now. Looks like it might be raining up there. Definitely some weather going on up there. But we're driving into Lone Pine and then we are going to go up and stay at Horseshoe Meadows Campground and stay at the trailhead and acclimate. See you right there. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're heading up to our campsite at um, Cottonwood Pass Horseshoe Meadows Campground area and there is Mount Whitney up there. We're gonna acclimate a little bit and get used to the elevation and then start our hike tomorrow morning. Super excited and also a little nervous. Going up Horseshoe Meadow Road up to Horseshoe Meadow Campground. So this is Cottonwood Pass Trailhead. It is the night before and we are staying in Blaze. The orange pickup is over there. We're staying overnight. The sun is just setting and we're trying to acclimate before we start our hike tomorrow. Just rained a little bit um, and we were in Blaze watching some YouTube videos on some hikers. So I'm getting ready for a hike, Cottonwood Pass, and we're exiting the Mount Whitney portal. So we're going to be doing it in five days. Um, so we're super excited, a little bit nervous, but can't wait to be on the trail. Good morning, we are getting ready to start our hike. And it rained a lot last night, a lot of thunder and lightning. So, um... Stop raining now. We got our rain gear on and we look super dorky, but we're ready to get on the trail. All right, we are starting Cottonwood Trail Pass to Mount Whitney. And my pack is 18.2 pounds. And Mike, what's your pack weigh? What's your pack weigh? Huh? Oh. 27 and a half. All right. Here we go. Well, we came from all the way down there at the meadow and we've been hiking for, I don't know how many hours now. No, we were kind of easy. <laughs> but we've been coming all the way up, making our way up the switchbacks, switchbacks here. It's a giant pee. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're almost at the top of Cottonwood Pass. Oh, there's that giant bee. Mm -hmm. We came. Wait. Way at the end of that meadow, we camped. You can see the road up, up from uh, Lone Pine. Yay. Cottonwood Pass. We stopped at Chicken Spring Lake, I think that's what it's called, to get some water and have some lunch and relax for a second. And now we're gonna get on our way again. Really beautiful here. All right, we are making our way up. Just down right here. 
right there filling up water. All right, there's chickens bringing a lake down there. And up and over pass to the other side. Beautiful. A lot windier on this side. Feels good. So beautiful up here. Kind of getting worried though. There looks like there's some rain off in the distance over there. But we're still on the PCT trail. We're gonna turn off up here a little ways and go to Soldier Lake next. Coming down into Soldier Lake. Super beautiful in here. Good morning. We've been hiking for a little bit this morning. Last night got down to 42 degrees. Um, it wasn't too bad, it was actually pretty nice. Um, our lake was awesome. It's fun watching the fish and just sitting there relaxing and pumping water by the lake. So that was really nice. Um, saw some deer this morning, a um, little family of deer. So that was nice. Even from the tent, I got to see them. So that was really cool. Um, all right, hiking to Upper Creek uh, Lake right now, and then on to, I forget, net, what's Rock Creek something is next. This is probably my favorite part of the trail so far. On our way to Crabtree Meadow, 6.7 miles away. <laughs> and beautiful section we just crossed, lots of meadows and creek going through. So it's pretty cool. It's a little um, 
little buck it had little antlers antlers on it. Hi little buck. Backside of Whitney. Whitney ahead of us. Still got a long ways to go. That's how we get there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep trekking. Whitney way over there. More way back here. We have a long ways to go still. But good to see it. We're on the back side of Whitney and super excited. There was some storms two nights ago and I guess there was a fire around there so we might be able to summit but we might not be able to exit Whitney Portal. So we'll see. We're gonna talk to the rangers at the ranger station. So we're almost at Ranger Station, another mile or so, and we'll be there. Mile and a half. Inside our tent, we are at Crabtree Ranger Station campground right now, having some coffee this morning. So we're gonna go over our cold coffee. Yeah, we might be having some cold coffee, yeah. but trying to save some fuel for the rest of our days. We have mm -hmm. two more days left, so we, we figured we'd rather have cold coffee than cold dinner. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's the idea. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But yeah, yesterday was a pretty challenging hike. It was a lot of up and down, up and down. We did yeah. three passes and we had to we went up and then down and mm -hmm. then all the way back up, all the way down, all the yeah. way back up, down. So it was a long day, um, definitely. Yeah, we ended um, up doing 11 miles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, about 11 miles. Yeah. So it was good. Um, yeah. Definitely tired at the end of the day. So we didn't even take any video last night. We'll take some pictures of our campsite, but yeah. pretty nice spot. A lot of people here, a lot of PCTers. They're actually hiking up to the top of Whitney. Um, they were leaving at like midnight to make it for sunrise and then come all the way back down. So, yeah. but they're a little more intense. They do, you know, the 20 plus miles. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not us. Yeah. Not us. But we're but, feeling good. We slept good. We slept yeah, a long slept time. Good last we went night. to bed before nine. Yeah. And it's like seven now. And we just slept. Yeah. So it's funny. You feel all super sore when you go to bed. And then when you wake up. You feel good again. Everything feels better again. Yeah. We and did so some we'll stretching see. last night. We were doing some yoga and stretching mm -hmm. and stuff. So yeah. that helps. But yeah, we are going to make it up to um, Guitar Lake and have lunch there. Mm -hmm. Hang out there. And then try to get up probably to the junction. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah. There's camping just before the junction. Way yeah. up. So over 13,000 feet. But it'll make our summit really easy tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, the weather is just super warm. <clears throat> warm and nice. So we talked to the ranger. She's like, yeah, if you're ever going to camp up there, this would be the time. So we might end up doing that. Yeah, but so if the weather's nice, we'll, we'll show see. show you some pictures. Yeah. 
As long as there's no clouds and this, there's no weather coming. Otherwise yeah. we'd be in trouble. Yeah, I'd be bad up there. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's it for right now. We'll touch base again later. Bye-bye. Trout don't really seem to mind us. The endless water pumping. Probably about a mile away, or a mile and a half away from Guitar Lake. Real pretty, I think we've been able to see Mount Whitney already. Cool little creek. We're doing good, we're just taking it easy. Hey hon. Well, Whitney is up there somewhere. And we are at the first lake, it's Timberline Lake. And we're gonna make our way up, um, sleep somewhere up there tonight. We're gonna relax here and get some water and then keep going. We're getting closer. Pretty crazy. This is the last tree we're going to see for a while. We're still unclear which one is um, Mount Whitney. And I, don't, I can't see the trail up, but we'll, we'll find it at one point. But we're thinking someone over here in the middle of the screen. One of those. Our lake and we're starting our journey up. We're gonna be staying somewhere up there. Clouds are rolling in. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain on us. Nice for the hike up though. It'll be as sunny. We stayed at Guitar Lake for quite a few hours just to stay out of the sun as much as we could. All right, see you up there. before now we're kind of looking down upon it it's crazy yeah. huh and you can see everyone's still down at camp just yeah. sitting there there's mount whitney way up there hey baby hey <laughs> we're making it yeah and then we have guitar lake way down there and the lakes definitely a sketchy path Crazy that flowers are growing way up here on the side of the mountain. So pretty. Hey baby. Hey well, we're over 13,000 feet. It's getting pretty high. We have to 
really slow our pace. Just baby steps. But it's pretty steep. Hey, hon. Hey. Come to Janelle, she's rocking it. Looks like we can see a little trail a little higher. There's supposed to be two little camp spots up here. We'll see. <laughs> Right, this is our camping spot for the night. And the trail we just came up. That's where we're going. We're almost at the top. And then we have 1.9 miles to the top of Mawini. Well, this is the view out of the tent. There's Guitar Lake down there. All the other lakes. Yeah, and a cliff up here. All right, the sun is about to set. We have an amazing campsite. We are super lucky, though, that it's not windy and that the weather's cooperating it's not raining on us um it'd be really cold if it was windy at all but it's it's not windy and it's just nice and relaxing and the sun is gonna set and we're just about to eat our meal for the night it's cooking right now Good morning. We are heading up to the top of Whitney. We just dropped our backpacks off. We just have our day pack. And it's 1.9 miles to the top. We're gonna be somewhere up there. Super excited. The sun uh, just rose this morning. All right, we've got to start at 5.45 this morning. Here's our pathway and the cliff below. Going somewhere over there. <laughs> around and then up around, I guess. All right, we are going all the way up there to that little hut. Pretty crazy, and we're way back here. Should be interesting. We're in the shade. Somewhere we're gonna get all the way up there. There's basically a scramble trail. And then uh, way up there you can see the little shack. We're still pretty far away. We're getting closer to the top. We're way above the mountains. Minus oh, Whitney. And we're still going all the way up there. So 
scrambling over some rocks here to get there. All right, we're almost there. There's the little hut. Hey, baby. <laughs> so close. We made it! We made it. <laughs> Yay! See some different so exciting! Us. Can't believe we oh, made it. Man. I still can't believe we made it. It's just crazy, crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, there's the little hut. <laughs> and there's the fire down there. Amazing how far you can go in a short amount of time. You're all the way up there. There's the hut. Pretty crazy. And now we're way over here. must not be out all the way. The helicopter is right there getting water right now. Crazy. Hopefully we can make it out the portal tomorrow. Well, we made it to outpost camp. Pretty cool. There's a waterfall there. Stream coming down. Pretty tired. My legs are Definitely tired right now, so I'm gonna relax and set up camp. Did you see those fish? Yeah. Oh wow. It's a pretty good sized fish. Yeah. That's cool. 
I'm gonna put this away so I don't fall. <laughs> well, we're the only ones out here. Haven't seen anyone just past Lone Pine Lake. Camped at Outpost Camp. No one there this morning. I think we're the only ones on the mountain. Don't think they've let people up two days in a row now because of the fires. So we'll see when we get to <laughs> to the trailhead. There's where the fire is down there at the entrance to Whitney. So we'll see if we can get out. Hey guy, <laughs> can I go past you? Okay. Oh, you have a baby with you, I see. Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> the baby's coming. Can you let us pass? Mm, do, do, do. All right. Okay. Thank you. Now you got your babies with you. All right. We are getting closer to the fire now. Definitely starting to smell smoky. And hopefully someone can let us out when we get down here. Since our car is not here. <coughs> and hopefully our car is... Hopefully we can get to our car. I haven't seen myself in a while. <laughs> All right. So we are at Whitney Porter right now and we are waiting for a Just, ride from the fire department yeah. or sheriffs. We called the sheriff, called dispatch. Now the sheriff's been calling us and he's trying to get a fire crew to come get us. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. It's completely deserted it's, here. Yeah. Smoky. They're not letting anybody up and so um, this yeah. road's closed. So we couldn't call a taxi. We got about 20% left battery which is very good. <laughs> we did, otherwise we'd have to hike out, but it's, the fire is up I mean, the fire, yeah, we're gonna smoky. walk right into the fire. So, I mean, we're, yeah. we stop because it's getting like, can't breathe very well, so. Right. All right, <laughs> update, <laughs> keep you posted. The whole bottom is burnt already. It is. Yeah. Oh, they're, oh, they're pulling water from down here now, huh? Oh, they're out there. Oh, there was the other fire, honey. Oh. So maybe that was the first one. badass. Good has already called the ranger, huh? <laughs> yeah, so we, we could never have called for a vehicle. No. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even believe it. just getting way worse up there it's so bad um, we still don't have our car yet we are waiting for our ride um, we have about an hour left and he'll bring us up there but hoping we can still get our car from up there 